All right, let's go over the photos from day three. I just did all these um, while driving around back roads and uh, dirt trails and stuff like that. I didn't do any, you know, long hikes for hours and hours today. These are all just ones that are very easily accessible. Um, you can pretty much like point your camera out of a car window and shoot a lot of these. I mean, some of them you might have to get out and walk like, you know, a few hundred feet, but that's about it. So these are all in the general area, I'd say within a, you know, within like a 25 mile radius of a lot of the other ones that I shot. So let's uh, start and start right here. So this is one that you can see just off the road. Um, nothing too spectacular on this one, but let's keep clicking through. Okay, so here's a closer-up shot. And if you noticed in the last video I did, um, I, I pointed out that a lot of these rock structures had like bowl shapes carved out of them and you can see even in this one right here there's a circular bowl shape carved out of the front of this right here so again we keep seeing more consistencies with these and this particular uh, site is probably a good 25 miles away from the ones that I were at that I was at yesterday so you know these things these structures they've made up like a giant network or city of stone structures you know spanning just over tons of uh of acres you know this isn't just like one little spot i mean these things are literally just scattered all throughout the mountains and the valleys in the northwestern united states on that, that major energy grid line Here's a picture of the pyramid, or what, what looks like a buried pyramid that a lot of these uh, stone structures are, are found around. So you can see there's another pretty big one right here that's like lining up directly with the pyramid. These are all just off the side of the road. There's another closer shot of the pyramid. Here's some other rocks that looked like they might have had some uh, some writing on them or something. I couldn't really tell, but you know, if anyone can uh, can recognize this, maybe you can leave a comment or something. Here is another one of those rocks with some writing on it, or what looks like it. Just some more off the road here. Yeah, let's flip that one. All right, there's a closer up shot of it. still just finding tons of these things it's only been three days that I've been out here exploring okay here's another shot of that big one that you can see off the road that's aligned with the pyramid just from the other angle there's a closer up shot of it just massive stone structures stacked up on top of each other Okay, here are just some other crumbled ones that I found crumbling down the side of a hill. Here's one that looks sort of intact still. Just more uh, crumbled ruins, but you can see like they were intact at one point. It's pretty obvious.
Here's another one with that split. There's some more oddly shaped rocks all stacked together here. Right, here's another one. You can actually see the road is right here. So you can see like how close and easily accessible some of these are. I lost count of how many different sites I found. Here's a really peculiar looking one. You can see this perfect uh, curvature right there. Looks like it's been machined out like that. There's a closer shot of it. Here's another huge one that tipped over. And this thing from here to here is probably like a good 20 feet or more. There's another one. Looked like it might have had some drawings on it at some point. I, I can't really tell though. Okay, this one is pretty obvious. This one's huge. And this is actually like behind uh, like someone's house. This is on private property. You would have to like jump their fence and pretty much walk through their backyard to get to this one. But I have a long lens uh, zoom on my camera. So I'm, I'm just taking this from off the side of the road. But you can see here this triangular shaped rock is, is fitting in right there. And then these are all stacked up very accordingly all around here. This thing is huge. I mean, if you were to go and stand by this, you'd probably only be like this tall, like right around here. But if you can see this one, like in between some of the trees when you're driving by. So there it is from farther away from the other angle. Just some more pictures of the uh, the terrain, what the forest looks like. Just huge trees everywhere. Out in the middle of the wilderness. You could probably get attacked by bears or something if you're not careful when you're wandering around out there. Okay, here's another site that is off the freeway, actually. And these are just you know, more obvious, intentionally stacked. Here, like, look right here. So when I was driving up here, I came at night, so I didn't actually see these. But on, on my way back, earlier, earlier this afternoon is when I saw all these ones. And these are all just right off the freeway. Here we see more of those dome-shaped rocks stacked up on the top, just like that other one, that, that big one that I went to yesterday. Okay, this one 
was really uh, interesting to me because you can see that they've got them um, fit together like puzzle pieces, just like the uh, stone structures down in South America and in Egypt, how they they fit them together like this. They're not all just perfect squares and rectangles. They use all these different shapes and little steps and they all fit in together perfectly like that. That one was still somewhat intact, a lot more than a lot of the others. Here's a closer up image of it. Here's another two rocks right here. You can see that they're they're separate from each other, but they're like identical in their in their design. Okay, this one this is another one of the tallest ones that I found um that's still very intact in comparison to a lot of the other ones. But this thing is massive and you can see all the layers of how they stacked them in here. And again, like, look at this one. This one goes right into a perfect triangle right there. There's a lot of uh, cattle wandering around. So we are kind of out in the wilderness. Just some pictures of the sky. This is on the way back too. Someone put some this big uh, statue up here. Doesn't really have anything to do with. Well, maybe it does have to do with ancient uh, ruins, but someone put that up there, so I just took a picture of it. Just an overview of one of the towns that I was passing through. So that was about it. Um, Here's some more of the mountains, but that's what uh what I found earlier today, just driving around without even really going on a hike into the wilderness or anything. Uh, like I said, this place is just riddled with ancient ruins. So what I, I mean, there's a bunch of other ones too. Um, on there's another uh, person that has a website with some other uh, ancient ruins in the same area um, that I didn't go to. Because I haven't, I, there's no way I would I would have time to go to all these, and there's no way I would have time to find all of them, you know, within just a less than a week. So, ideally, what I'd like to do is get out here and, you know, map these things out better, see which uh, celestial bodies they're they're aligned with. Because you know, when you find these ancient ruins, they're always uh, they're aligned with with constel constellations. You know, they're star maps. Or they're aligned with uh, with the sun during certain processional cycles and things like that. Uh, that's about it for now. I'll keep you posted. Um, hopefully I can get out there again and explore some of the other areas. But in the meantime, I'm going to head back for a little bit. Anyways, let me, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Or if you know of uh, any other places like this in the United States, because we need to wake people up. You know, I think all these, all these pyramids and huge stone structures with quartz crystals and all that stuff inside of them. I think that they're uh, they're all energy devices. You know, they're they're uh, they tap into the the Earth energy grid, zero point energy. And if we could reverse engineer this technology and turn all these things back on, then we could provide the entire continent with free renewable energy. Anyways, my name is Sean Logan. Everyone have a wonderful day.